Right, he is definitely a done bull calf, without a shadow of a doubt. She's still a bit trauma. I think both of them are actually traumatized from the birth. So I can't see him getting up anytime soon. So I've had to revert to plan B. So they're gonna to stay together in there, but he's not gonna get any colostrum from her. I think it's unlikely she's gonna let me take enough from her to do what I want. So I paid the neighbors a visit and gone and got four points off of them. So that's in the sink defrost in there. So he was born two and a half, three hours ago. I've got, well, another hour and a half, maybe two, to get that into him before it's too late. So anyway, it's defrosting. Okay, so that got defrosted, most of it, and has been decanted into there. It's only dirty on the outside, promise. Let's go and see if he'll take some. All right, you lot. Okay, so she has dropped her cleansings, but I think what we'll do is you can go out for a minute and I'll see if I can give him a bottle, so, all right? Come on then. Go on, there you go. There you go. Good girl. We'll pick that up in a minute. No, you can't go that way. Psst, psst. Move your head. Come on. That's it. Okay, little fella. You ready for some of this? Come on, little chap. I'm glad to see you're up, though. Go on. Go on, suck. I see some air bubbles. Let's try that again. Go on then. Go on. Oh, no, don't lie down. Oh, well, well, if you want to lie down, you can. But I'd rather you stood up. You're just being awkward on purpose. Okay. Good boy. I want to see you swallow some of that. He's not being very cooperative, but a bit at a time. This is good stuff. And I'm glad to see you're standing. This will give you strength, mate. All right? Good job. That's the way. This might take a little while. <clears throat> right, you want to stand up properly. It's okay. It's 
Let's get, your, get your tongue around it. That's it. See, it's important that um, we get colostrum into him. Sooner the better, but within five or six hours, and it is now almost four o'clock. So he was born almost five hours ago. So this is possibly the most important feed of his entire life. So far, so good. I'm just glad I haven't got a stomach tube in. Right, we'll give you a breather. Just a breather. Then you can have some more, alright? Don't lean on me, you'll fall over. Okay. So that's behaviour. He's now he's tasted it. He's looking for it. He's only had about a quarter of it so far. But um not really enough to do the business just yet. But uh if he finishes all that, I'll be more than happy. He'd be a lot stronger with this in his belly. Go on, little chap. That's it. Now you've got to get your tongue underneath it. Not around this. There you go. Not on top of it. Still having issues with your tongue, aren't you? I reckon it was bruised from when you were given being born. That's it, go on, suck it. I'm feeling a lot more confident now than I was a couple of hours ago. Go on, keep going. Good chum. All right, have a rest. Have a rest. Right. I'll give them a two minute break. I'll get rid of those cleansings. That was a lot of that. Ready for a bit more? Yeah? Come on, chap. Tongue underneath, that's it. You've got a little gunk in your ear. Let's get that out there, shall we? That's better, you can hear now. Here you go, mate. So I've opened the air vent up a little bit more now. Now he's got the idea of the teat. Um, I had it closed off so he couldn't drink it too fast earlier. I've opened it up a little bit now, so let's a bit more air in. So we can drink it a bit. Now he knows what he's doing-ish. He can drink it a bit faster now. Okay, you have a break. Just don't think I'm your mummy, because I'm not. All right. Pretty little boy, ain't you? Eh? Here. You're not full yet. So basically I've got two litres of this. Um, I've put about three litres in this can now, in this drinker, 
which I'm hoping is going to finish. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to come down later on, 10 o'clock-ish I expect, and I'm going to give him the last litre, even though it would be too late for the colostrum, um, it'll still give him a good feed. And I'm kind of hoping that the cow is going to take him on. Right now she's over there and just doesn't care. So this might become a regular occurrence. But if you're no good for a mum, you're no good for anything. Burgers, all right? You've been warned. Having a bottle fed calf can be a pain in the arse. And the fact that he's a steer, well, he's not a steer, he's a bull calf, but he could end up being a hand reared bull, maybe. Well, he's had the best part of two litres so far. So we're doing all right. Aren't we, mate? Don't let it rest. Yeah. I know. And again, where did I put the, where did I put the iodine? I need to spray his navel, I forgot to do it earlier. But we'll, don't let me forget, we'll spray his navel in a minute. You're giving me backache mate, you're too short. Keep going, you're doing good. But you are giving me backache. Oh, uh, royal backache. He's had two and a half litres. Well, apart from what he's dripped on the floor, which is probably maybe a quarter of it. Up you get. She's not cleaned you at all, has she? I will put the cow back in with him and hope that some kind of bond occurs. But um, I think the chances are low. She's not even paying any attention at all. She's completely unfazed by me being in here. She, I've not heard her talk to it. She's obviously not cleaned him. Poor little fella. Hey, do you want me not want you? Come on. Do you want to stand up? Up you go. There you go. Have another drinky. So, yeah, this Sunday, I haven't done anything that I would normally have done on a Sunday. Normally, I go and visit my dad on a Sunday. I'm going to have a walk into the farm. I go and look at the other cattle. Um, you fool. None of it. All because of you, mate. So, I don't mind. Right, do you know what? I'm going to leave it at that for now. All right, I'll top that up and you can have the rest in a six, uh, probably about six o'clock. I don't think he wants to take any more now. So a larger breed calf would probably take all four litres, but he's taken two and a half. I'm happy with that. Um, he's got something in his belly now, um, which should kickstart his system, and it is within time. It is four o'clock. <coughs> he was born at, <coughs> what's it, 11-ish? So it's five hours. You wouldn't want to be much later than this. Another two or three hours, it'd be too late. So, but I think we got there in time. I have to wait for this to defrost. The thing is, you can't, you can't defrost this too quick. There's lots of bugs and bacteria in here. So you can't, you can't microwave it. You can't heat it up in red hot water. It has to defrost slowly. So basically this has been defrosted over the last two, two hours in lukewarm water. We just keep changing the water. So, okay. Well, I'm a lot more confident now than I was a few hours ago. I think, I think we'll be tagging him.
tomorrow. Come on, Mum, you're coming back in. Come on. Go and find your baby. Go on. I want to see you talking to him and feeding him in the morning, all right? If not before. See, not bothered. Not bothered at all. Go on, in you go. In you go, it's your baby. Go on, go and get yourself acquainted. <laughs> 